Hi everyone, so today we're making this cute little tree. It's a clothespin and yarn and cardboard and junk. I colored it, so yeah, keep watching. So what you're going to need is yarn, like some sort of green. I'm going to use this dark stuff. Scissors to cut the cardboard that I already cut mine. You need these two like circle shapes, they're like the same. Because you could just use one, but if you put two together, so if you see any through the yarn, you just see brown, you don't see... Uh, like a Ritz box or whatever. And then you need a clothespin. And optionally, you can color it darker brown, or you can just leave it like this. I'm gonna color mine brown, and so that's all you need. So once mine's colored brown, I'll be right back because you just color it. It's just boring to watch. So I'm back, and it's all colored. I found if you clip it on the cardboard and you hold the cardboard, you color it. You're less likely to color your fingers. I only got a little bit of my fingers this way. So now, once you're done, you probably want to make sure. Try to see if it stands up. Mine does, because if you don't, you have to like move it around or like cut a little off or whatever. But mine seems like it stands up fine. So now you can either take the end of your yarn and like tie it to the clothespin or tie it around the cardboard and then wrap. But I trust it enough. I'm gonna just open the clothespin up a little bit. Make sure the cardboard stays roughly where I want it. I think it's a little brown, but I'll live. And I'm gonna just put the um, yarn in the clothespin. I'm going to be wrapping it a whole bunch, so not like it has to be in there in the most secure. Right there, but it looks about good to me. Just like that, and then we're going to wrap it. You just sit and you just wrap it until yours is pretty well covered. So just keep wrapping it like that. And if you wanted to, you could cut the string, wrap, cut, wrap it, and then cut a little extra, and then thread some beads on it and wrap it and arrange them. And you could have like beads on it to be like apples or oranges or something. But I'm not going to do that. I just want it to be a normal little tree. So I just want to go until I have all the little like big spots on the edges filled in for the most part. I don't want any like big brown spots if I can avoid them. And just keep wrapping until you're happy with it. My yarn just went down there. Clean fuzz off. Hmm. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to just cut it like that. And this is where you would thread on yarn, beads, and then wrap it a few times and get the beads to at, spread out and stuff. And then you look like kind of like apples or oranges or whatever you want. You could put rainbow colors and pretend it's like a rainbow tree or something. So now I'm going to just take this. And I'm going to just like go back, unwrap it on the back one side. I'm going to call this back. Put my finger through that. Go up here and pull this yarn back in here through this. And then I'm going to just tuck it in here a little bit. So I'm going to pull it through. Now on this side there's a loop like that. You can just knot it off however you feel is good enough. This is how I feel is good enough for me. As long as no one like tugs on it and messes with it too much. If it's just to sit on a shelf. You could put like a dot of glue on that but mine's fine like this. So there, your little tree. If you like simple little things like this, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you added beads to your tree and what type of tree you made. If you made like apple, orange, lime, pear, banana, or if you did a magical rainbow tree with all kinds of colors. Just tell me what you made and then subscribe. Bye!